Hello there, friends. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. I am here with a long, long overdue haul. I was going to say long awaited. I don't know if it's awaited. We're going to start this and it may be broken into multiple hauls. Otherwise, it's going to be seriously a long one. I checked back on my channel and the last haul I did was for August. So I'm filming this mid-December. Not sure when it'll get up. And I know I have more stuff coming. So I have the opportunity to film. We're just going to do it. There is a lot. So first up here, we are diving into Dollar Tree and Dollar General. I did a color and chat over a month ago, I will be filming part two soon as well. And I stopped along the way and did a bunch of shopping because I didn't know how long I'd be gone. Anyway, let's just start showing you what I got. So this, <laughs> I love these Rubbermaid totes. I bought this at Dollar General because I needed a stuff, something to put the things in I was going to be using during this trip. And that's exactly what I did. And I will continue putting the things away in it. So I purchased, oops, oh no, it's a blanket. I reached under the table and I thought, oh no, it's a cat. It's a blanket. So these are the washi tapes I have purchased before from Dollar General. They are a dollar. And these are the patterned ones. Pretty sure I've shown them before. I also get them just a solid metallic set that I very much enjoy. And then they had this set was a little different. So these are textured and more of a deco tape. These say they're washy, they feel more like paper tape. So I got all of those. This was a new find. These I have seen before. We're just gonna put them in the little container down there. And the other Dollar General item I had purchased, I thought I would need these because as I left, I was neck deep in Buddy Ween, and I thought I might need some post-it notes to keep track. Thankfully, I ended up not needing these, but these were a really good deal for three packs of full post-it notes. And I use post-it notes all the time in my coloring or any crafting. Everything else now is from Dollar Tree. Now it's organized somewhat, but don't let me uh, fool you. So I saw these are adhesive cork sheets and I got two of them. They're rather small and pretty thin. And I thought, well, there are places in coloring that sometimes I want to use cork. So I thought I could cut out a piece or I have many decorative paper punches that actually punch thicker. So I could punch out like a heart or a star, or I have another idea I'm going to do, and I've been doing a little bit of it, but and I think I'm gonna just wait and do a whole video about how to use and get this as a texture for coloring. So I saw they also have, I don't have a Cricut type machine, but they now have vinyl. Um, I'm assuming it's not a lot of it on the roll, but my Dollar Trees have had, and it's been like shiny and sparkly and beautiful. And I'm pretty sure you could use that the same way and like do a paper punch, but that's just speculation. Here are a couple little craft organizer boxes. I have just a very small diamond painting I've been working on. It's a kit and it actually has a holder container. It folds together like a book. I know I showed it here. I bought it through um, Book Outlet. And I know I have been just pushing my luck not having the little drills go all over. So this should be plenty for me to sort those out and not, um, hi Huey, not have to have them go everywhere. If I didn't have a bunch of things all around me right now, I might be able to find it and show it to you. But for now, I wanted to get this so I could put the drills in there and then maybe be able to work on it a little easier. Huey is going to be right there. That's his little toe. We'll see if he leaves me alone. Another purchase that I have bought before. Not these colors, but I get these at Dollar Tree and I use them in my coloring books. And this one, I've already used almost half of it because it looks so amazing. Confetti, um, 
I don't know what the, it's called craze, over a black background. So if you see anything like this, heck yeah. And then I have the glitter purple. I have the glitter pink, which I have used before. And it's usually close by. Can I reach it? Oops, knocked everything over. Um, I like to use this. I use it just for like little highlights. It doesn't give you as much sparkle as a stickles, but um, they're for a dollar. It's so easy. It's easier than bringing out the paint bottles and these have a built-in brush. That's all I have to say. I don't have to clean them up. So definitely if you haven't tried nail polish in your coloring books, go for it. This, I, I don't have high hopes for these. Uh, this is a marker set. That is, we should just test one. They are a stamper. So it is a marker that should have a flower on the end. And let's just see. I thought this could maybe work for some background. They kind of even could be snowflakes. And they're actually not that bad. To do little backgrounds. Oh, I'm, I like them. We'll see. Hopefully they're not all dried out. But it was a six set for a dollar. It is the Jot brand, which is normally at Dollar Tree. Then I needed, I only use pencils in my checkbook register. And I, the one I have is running out and I certainly wasn't going to buy refill lead, although I could have at Dollar Tree. Instead, I got these, which are the Zebra brand, and there are eight of them for a dollar, and they are beautiful rainbow. So I should be set for quite a while with um, my need for pencils. I have not found the glitter gel pens, the ones that I love, that normally come out at Christmas. They are this style. You've seen them in my empties. You've seen me use them. Um, I love them. They are super shiny and sparkly. And if I find them, I will even be the lady that will buy multiple packs because I can go through a pack a month and I use them. So in that sense, I don't think it's a problem if you buy them all when you're at the store. There's a big debate. I've been part of the Dollar Tree community for a long time. I'm not, I'm not bringing that over to the coloring community. I picked up two packs of these. I've been doing a lot of the lines, dots, and spots. Um, I do them at work to unwind and de-stress. And for a dollar, these are perfect. Needed a refills of those. Well, we got a workaround Huey. So stickers, these are not new. They've been at Dollar Tree for a while. They're the jewel border stickers, so I wanted to try them in some of my, maybe Hannah Lynn's, I haven't decided for sure yet, but I thought for some Christmas pages, these would make some beautiful borders. Or if it's a large enough page, you could even cut this and have it like garland on your tree. But you got five relatively long strips, definitely long enough for a coloring book page. I got those three. Then, what's an, oh, here's just another fun little, I just like getting little stickers to put on cards when I mail them out. Sometimes I use it in my coloring books, but most often I just use this to decorate mail. And then I got a bunch of alphabet stickers. This I thought was beautiful. It's pinks and purples and shiny. I use these for my nameplate pages. Instead of writing my name, I like to use stickers. So this just has one sheet. The problem is I can like spell my name twice and then I'm out. So I need to find a friend that does not have the same letters in their name so I can pass them on. Or I'm sure I can pass them to some children in my life as well. And then these... One of these is a repeat, and here you will, you may not like me, but I bought multiples. This one, I only bought one set. Um, I'm not sure. To me, they kind of look like cookies or donuts, maybe, except that one looks like a corn dog with mustard. But they look like sweets. So this was an alphabet, and I, they just have one sheet in them. 
these were I found them at a couple I didn't buy these all at one but I really liked the fruits so I have how many did I end up getting I got four of this set so they're all fruit themed upper and lower case this is different in that it's got the lower case whereas these were all uppercase as well as the cat set which every time I buy see these I buy them because again I can spell my name twice and then I can't use them at least for nameplates I can use them for other things so yeah I bought out this wasn't all one store I went to multiple stores and they happened to have them and I should be set Probably not for all the books I will be showing when I get to the book haul, but I got a lot. Okay, I'm waiting for Huey to jump because he might knock a bunch of stuff down. This is one of their little scissors. I actually needed to use it. Um, it's a fine, it's not, you know, it's a dollar, but I needed something to cut like some washi tape and other just small stuff to keep in that little container while I was out of town. And it worked, and I will continue to use it. I found some of their paper tape. This isn't washi by any means, so I don't know. I used to be more hip on which tapes were from what season. So now Huey left, and Zoe has jumped up here because I turned off the fireplace. So this is, you can see the design. And these are like... I don't know if they're actually, they're kind of a paper tape. They're not your true washi. Here we have a bunch of macarons, macarons, macaroons. I forget the difference, but I will eat them both. Look at these adorable llamas. And this is like a tropical Hawaiian to me. Pineapples, palm trees. Looks like they're doing the hula. So I will use those. Here's a random thing. <laughs> Did I need it? No, but it's a cat. And it says meow or never to like put on your doorknob. I don't know for sure <laughs> other than a decoration, but it was a cat. I had to get it. I got some more pen type marker and the like. I found these are all Sentos. I love anything scented. I don't know why I've been that way since a kid, like the scratch and sniff, stiff, scratch and sniff stickers. So I bought these. They just came in a two pack. They will work well. They're medium tips for the lines type of um, books as well. So I got three sets of those in different colors. This I bought specifically to use for Christmas time. I do like the Jot roller tips and they have been really smooth. So this was a three pack and I'm doing a lot of red in my lines, dots and spots books. So I bought these just for that purpose. I did finally find the glitter markers and I don't know if they're all different. I have some other ones I've been using and loving. So we're gonna test these out as well. And a gold is very tricky to find. I found in a lot of these you get like a yellow, but not necessarily a gold. So Zoe is not going to move enough for us, but I think I got, and I didn't realize these were all different because I was at two different stores and um, they each had like three so i just picked up the three that each of the stores had and i just can see now they are all different from each other so they are glitter markers i know other colorists have been using these and said they are really good okay we're cruising this is going faster than i thought um a couple of random pardon my arm since i have to go around zoe this is just nothing to do with coloring, but um, one of my other friends from the Dollar Tree community has bought them and said they're really nice. It's to go over your charger, that area where it can often fray, and just to protect it from bending and fraying. There's a little pineapple. Got that. These I bought, so most of you know, or seasoned friends know, I do a lot of card making. And I picked these up, and there's 20 in each set and I just wanted to show you if you ever wanted to do your own cards you don't have to be fancy by any means so 
here are these 20 sets and they are a theme. So on this side, it says today's prayer. But what I'm going to do with these is they all have a um, Bible verse and the design is the same. So what I'm going to do is turn all of these into cards and you could do the same thing. So all you need to do is pick up a pack of cardstock. Um, Walmart has some. I don't know if Dollar Tree has like a thick enough cardstock, but you just basically cut her in half. And um, if you need to trim this down, you can stick it on. You just made yourself a card. So they do not have to be super fancy. And hopefully I have a crafting event uh, week long getaway coming up. And the goal will be to make these all into cards. And then I can show you how I did that. Since I have this one, I just want to show you. I think these were even like up in the like gift kind of section. So these, I just, I love the colors. It's gorgeous. And I don't know if they're all different, but these are, I actually kind of even like these more because it's a larger font. And they just make cute little easy cards. And you could even just do this as, um, and like buy these and like write a little note and stick it in somebody's mailbox, mail it to them, put it in a lunchbox whatever, just write a note. But yeah, I thought these were really cool and they were a dollar for 20. So granted, I need to get the cardstock and I buy envelopes in bulk. So that's not really a problem. But yeah, you can just do something super cute, super easy and quick and personal. So we have those. Now, notebooks and stickies. I, again, was running short. I use these a lot. <laughs> you just saw I use them here as my page markers because they're usually always on my table as opposed to the cute page markers, which I also use. They had, I know they had cats at one time and I did not find the cats, but they had these dogs, which say your possum. The snuggle is real. Positive vibes only. I thought they were adorable. I will keep them either. I will use them. I like dogs too. Sorry, Zoe. Nothing personal. Um, or maybe I'll hold on to them. And when I send out just a little bit of friend mail, we'll see. And this was, I think, who did I see? Was it Danielle? Did you or Emily haul this recently? And I think they were like left from a different season, maybe even a different year. So these are two, just those little individual sticky notepads. And then this is a little actual notepad. So I'll use those as page flags. And I'm always keeping a small notepad nearby. Either I'm doing test swatches or I'm writing myself notes about what I need to do. This I just thought was hilarious. It's again, another little notepad. I love food stuff and I work for an egg company. So it cracks me up. I want to see though. So you're baking me crazy. Food puns, my favorite. And then it opens up. Okay. And it's actually lined paper. So I'm not sure what I'll use this for. Maybe I'll use this just to keep track of like my completed pages in 2022. I'm looking for just something little to do that instead of in my big, like, big journal. But that'll come during a chat someday. We're going to do and set up my goals for 2022. Knowing me, the video will come out probably in March of 2022. These are some adorably cute little notepads. The kitties, you know I had to get them. Um... They are crown jewels, it says, a women-owned brand made in the USA. And look, what's even cute is the paper has little cats on them. So just another nice little notepad. And two more to show you. They had these as well. And I am also, in addition to being a crazy cat lady, a crazy coffee lady. And look how cute the paper is in here. Again, adorable. 
And then they had this one. Today I'm a unicorn. Tomorrow I'm a mermaid. Also very cute. And that is everything from Dollar General and Dollar Tree. So we're at 20 minutes. Do I have time to do some more in this video? Well, why not? Actually, no, I'm going to stop because you all know I go way too long and let's just break these out because now I need to reorganize and get the other stuff out. So this little haul are the things I have accumulated since September of 2021 from Dollar General and Dollar Tree that were crafting type related. So I hope you enjoyed this. If any of you have found the similar things, has anybody found these, the glitter gel pens this year? I admit I have not been to a Dollar Tree now for probably close to a month, but um, I think last year my Dollar Trees didn't get them till after Christmas, so maybe that will be the case. But I absolutely love these, and as soon as I do find them, I will snatch them up because I don't see them throughout the year then. They're kind of only available once a year. So, okay, enough rambling because we have more filming to do. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And in case nobody has told you lately, you matter. You're beautiful. You are amazing. Whether you're a Dollar Tree diva like I am, which I think, hey, let's be smart and buy stuff that we can use for a dollar. Or if you would never step foot in a dollar store. Either way, you are still an incredible person and I am glad to call you my friend. Take care. Bye.